Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? I have a new guide for Seto Corsa. Um, I went from the Reverb G2 to the Quest 3 because the uh, the quality in the screens is, is so so minimal, and I think it's basically the exact same thing except for you get the pancake lenses, and that for me has been a game changer. Anyways, I went and made a really good guide for you guys. I'm gonna include this file in the bottom, um, but I'm gonna guide you through it here. Uh, just by explaining it. As it says, are you looking for the perfect settings and great quality VR in a set of Corsa using Quest 2 or 3 on the link cable? Well, this is your guide, guys. Um, the number one thing you need to do is uh, you've got to consider the specs. First of all, what your computer is capable of. Mine is an absolute beast, so I'm going to go over my specs for you right here. Um, the Tough RTX 4090 video card. Um, Ryzen 9 5950X CPU, 64 gigs of RAM, 1200 watt power supply Seasonic Platinum. This is all liquid cooled with an AIO uh, computer cooler or CPU cooler. And uh, the video card is just air cooled. Uh, the Tough is a really great system. It's all metal. Anyways, step one is you need to open up your Oculus debug tool. Um, I don't really need to go through all this for you guys. It's literally all here in the guide I'm going to include. I'm going to make sure this file's there for you. Um, but it's super, super important that every time you run the link software where you like you 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 leave the link software or you unplug the headset or you run a game and you turn it off, to rerun this app. Like make a link to it, run it as administrator, but close it down and reopen it and make sure all these settings are the same and they don't change. One of them that always sets back is asynchronous space warp. Not sure why, but this by far has to be the most frame-eating, garbage-efficient system I've ever seen for producing frames. It drops it to like 45 and then produces a bunch of fake frames, which just causes, for me, shimmering, and horrible horizontal stutter. So when you're like, if you're in a in a race where you're turning lots, that horizontal will give you major frame loss. This gets rid of that, not having that on. You can set this a little lower if you want, but with a 4090, you should have no problem with this. I'm literally getting, I'm locked 90. 88 is my average frame rate. It barely, barely budges from that. And this is on Shotoku with 13 cars. Everything else is maxed. Once you have this all done, the next step is my custom shader patch settings. Uh, the link is here. It's going to be in the file. I'm pretty sure it's as simple as just going there, grabbing that file, and applying it onto your own custom shaders patch. If you don't know what custom shaders patch is, um, go look it up and, and you can start down that rabbit hole. That's not what I'm here to help you with. I'm just here to guide people that are already struggling with everything and are having a hard time wrapping their head around it. I have a 4090 and I've struggled for almost three months trying to get this nailed down. And finally, finally, I've got it nailed down where I don't get any stuttering or any frame loss at all at really good quality with great anti-aliasing. Okay, so as you can see, um, um, the Assetto course uh, custom shader patch settings, follow the setting custom patch. Uh, be sure to save your settings prior to applying them, just in case, because if something does go wrong or if this doesn't work for your system, you don't want to be stuck going through everything that I've changed. Uh, and you definitely don't want to revert back to default because that's also a headache. So just make sure you save your pat, your settings somewhere so that you can always load them up if this doesn't work for you. Uh, step three, your NVIDIA individual program settings plays an integral role in VR efficiency in many games. Like you will find in many games, especially racing games, latency, low latency, ultra, and all these settings in here really, really change the way the game works and looks. Um, not so much looks, but definitely the efficiency that it operates on your GPU. 
so make sure you follow these settings to a T. Um, I, image scaling is always off. I don't know why it's not showing that, but I never turn image scaling up for any of my VR titles. Uh, I know a lot of people say that with that, like, yes, DLS does not, DLSS does not work when you do that. For me, on my 4090 with my setup, this looks amazing. I'm hoping that other people can achieve this at lower frames. I have a 3090 in another computer here. I'm going to test that, and I can verify that for you guys, too. So make sure you follow these settings to a T. You can drop the uh, texture filtering if you have a little bit of a lower rig to it's from quality to uh, performance with very little difference in look in VR, in my opinion. Uh, number four, the step four, make sure your MetaLink software is set to these settings in the image below. If you do want to go lower, like uh, 80 hertz or 72 hertz, Personally, 72 hertz, I can notice it. It, it creates a, almost like a flashing in my mind. Um, some people say they don't notice it. 80 hertz, again, 80 hertz is, is a real sweet spot. It will give you really good, really smooth, and it, it's less demand because it's making 10 less frames per second pretty much. Um, I believe that's how it's working. I could be wrong on that. Um, and the final step... And very important, if you are using Open Composite, be sure to turn it off using your OpenXR companion app. Google that up if you don't know what that is. If you don't know what Open Composite is, again, Google it up and you'll find all the answers you need. This guide is just to help you get to the best efficiency for a set of Corsa. Uh, also make sure that your MetaLink software is set to the default OpenXR runtime as well. Although, I have seen Steam VR because it now has the open composite plugin. It does sometimes work really well. I, I have seen Steam VR be pretty good, especially with uh, Dirt Rally 2.0, but I, I haven't tested it and I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, the next, so yeah, this is the final step. Um, this, if this isn't grayed out, obviously you have to come in here, click this and activate it. Um, this has given me some of the best VR experience I've ever had in VR. Um, this blows the Reverb G2 out of the water for clarity. I'm sorry, like Reverb G2 was amazing, but this is just on another level and I, I can't quite explain it. It must just be the pancake lenses. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to include this file in the description below. Uh, follow this guy, do a T. Don't be afraid to ask me any questions. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, thanks very much, guys. Really, really appreciate it.